guys welcome to the channel this is the stitching colorist with Shelley Lewis so today's video I'm going to be doing the second part to the coloring chat which is color by number art animal stencils is the book we're working in so we'll get straight to it so after I did my last video I had full intention of doing a little bit off camera and then coming back on camera and finishing it off but as you can see I did, I just didn't get to do any more of it unfortunately it's just one thing after another <laughs> to be honest so yeah I didn't get to do any more on it so I thought I'd colour a little bit more while we have a catch up so just zoom you in a little bit and I'm going to be focusing on that bird there so the first number it's telling me is 11 which is yellow so i'm going to use my very small one for that the ultra fine in the bit markets so how is everybody how are you all doing and how is the weather near you it's very very muggy here we've not got so much sunshine now but ah, we've got a bit of the 11 in his tail, but I'm going to go in with a thicker pen to do that. Yeah, it's it's not sunshine here. It's very muggy. This morning, because I was planning to go into town, because um, it will be the first time I've been in town for, gosh, since before lockdown began. And because of opening a couple of places up i thought i'd go in today just to get a couple of things and just to have a little bit of space a little bit of breather because you know what it's like when you're stuck in um it can be quite stressful it can be um so i thought i'd nip into town today i was very very precautious i wore a face mask um while I was in town, I took some gloves, I took my hand sanitizer in my pocket. But saying that, the shops were pretty good that way. I didn't go in absolutely tons of shops, I only went in a couple. But the ones that I did go in, they had hand sanitizer at the front before you went in, so you could sanitize your hands. And they had the two metre, is it two metre distant rule? So we're going to go in with number 10 for his eye. So they had the two metre distant rule. Um, it wasn't too bad actually. Everyone was seemed to be good about it, to be honest. Um, everyone was sticking to the two metre distancing rule. So I've got a couple of things. I was going to see if my works were open. So just having a look at what colour we're going to do next. So we're just going to get rid of these leaves and get number 12, which is yellow green. So, what was I saying? <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. So, yeah, it was pretty good. The Everyone was complying by the rules and it felt good to be out, um, to be out and about. I walked past Costa, um, <laughs> I noticed it was open, but obviously you couldn't sit in there because you can't do that yet, but obviously it was open so, and there was only one other person in there, so we've got green. So I had to go in, I went in, uh, got myself obviously a takeout, I just got one of those coffee frappuccinos. And I thought, stuff it, because I've not been able to have a Costa for a while. Um, well, be able to get a Costa for a while. Um, I got me the Frappuccino with the whipped cream and medium and, yeah, all that stuff. I wish I'd have just got the small now. <laughs> but, yeah, I got it. I enjoyed it. I was drinking it on the way back down on the seafront, on the way back to the bus stop. So really, really, really enjoyed it. So that was nice. Obviously, I hand sanitised my hands before I go on the bus. I sanitised them when I come off and I wore my mask all the time. But I also sanitised my hands 
as I was going in the shops and out the shops. So basically my hands have just been completely and utterly sanitised today. But it's best to be safe than sorry is what I say. So we're going in with 17 which is blue around his face. So yeah. Um, I also noticed that the pub, the pub, that the public toilets were open. I didn't go in them, obviously, but um, I was thinking when things start to get a little bit better, I'd like to take the little ones just for a bit of fresh air on the seafront. But I was a bit unsure because of the toilets. I wasn't sure if the toilets were open, but there was. So what i'll do is i'm going to give it a little bit yet because i just don't feel completely safe enough to take them into town yet but if things seem a little okay a little bit better what i'm going to do is take some toilet wipes you'll probably laugh at me hands some of you probably won't but i'll take some toilet wipes disinfectant and i can obviously clean the bathroom before any of us need to use it so number six is peach so yeah um that's what i'll be doing not sure when but there's no rush so how is everybody what are you all up to i'm not too bad i don't know i'm feeling a little bit iffy this afternoon a little bit iffy um it's because uh, I'm not sleeping of the night. That, that's gone out the window. I was going to sleep at a relatively good time, which was like 12 o'clock. Um, but no, I'm just not. It's probably not helping me watching YouTube <laughs> till late, but I just can't fall asleep. It's with everything that's going on, uh, my mind on stuff like that. I just cannot settle, um, just cannot settle, but I'm trying, I'm trying, so turn and we'll go in with, I think we've got honey brown here, but I'm a bit unsure about that, because when I tried this for tan last time, I think it was this one, adobe orange, that turned out more orange than it did tan, so I think we're just going to go with this one, and if it's a bit more brown, then don't matter. <laughs> So, yeah, I've been all, like I said, feel a bit iffy. I think it's just mugginess, hot, stuffy, tired. I feel bad for the children. Um, so, obviously, my son's not going to school yet. I'm worried about him that he's falling behind because he was struggling with his learning anyway because he was quite a late speaker. And he was having like speech therapy when he goes to went to school, but obviously he's not been able to have that. I'm worried about my daughter. Um, I know health safety comes first, definitely. I'm worried about my daughter missing out on a nursery. Uh, her nursery have actually opened back up. I thought they were opening up, but then I thought they decided not to. But I had an email today saying about how they've had a good day with opening back up and i was like all oh, right didn't know they were opening up so at first i was thinking about sending her for just one day starting in july obviously to give things time to cool down and hopefully get better so i was thinking of because she usually goes about three times a week but we're just going to go in with a dark blue now for his wing. For there. So I was wondering whether to just send her just one day a week. But husband was not happy at all about it. He said he does not want to go in at all. Um. So yeah, I can fully understand. Because obviously I'm a mum and I don't want to get in ill either. So we've decided... We've decided not to send her yet. I'm punishing myself emotionally about it because I'm worrying and I'm thinking, am I holding her back? Obviously, with my son, it's a bit different with him because I've got no choice. He's not opened his school. 
But I keep thinking, am I holding my daughter back? Should I let her go to school? So she can see her friends and mingle. Am I doing the right thing by keeping her off school? I don't know. It's just, yeah, just basically punish, punishing myself about it. And I, I just don't know. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. I really don't know. So, just, just basically punishing myself about that. Otherwise, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, on a good note, I had happy Amazon mail today. I received all my books that I ordered. So, uh, I've got two books that I ordered when I watched one of Lisa's Colouring Corners videos and I saw some two Mandala Colour by Number books and I thought, oh yes, <laughs> that really needs to be in my collection and in my life. <laughs> so, I decided to get the books. I just had to. So, I got those. I'm not sure what colour to go in with. Because I've only got a dark brown here. I already used the other brown for that. I think we're going to go in next. We're going to go in with Woodsy Brown. We're going to go in with that one. So yeah, my books came today. So we're looking forward, excited about that. So I cannot wait to start those. Uh, yeah, I ordered, I also got the Square Mandalas, Square Mandala by the Belba family, had to add that to my collection. All I'm missing now of the colour by number range of the Belba family is the money book. So I've just got to get that one and then I've got all of their colour by number books. Um, and what else did, the other book that I got. What was the other book? Oh, yeah. The other book that I got was the one by, I think it's Prachin Sachdeva. The books, love books, is it? Book that's just came out. I received that today, which I'd ordered. So I'm really looking forward to starting in that. So Prachin is Sachin Sachdeva's wife. And that's, I, it was already on my mind to get the book. And I thought, I really want to get it, but... I'm being, I've got to be good, not order any more books. But then I saw some pictures that people had coloured in it and I thought, oh God, I want that book. I have to get that book. <laughs> so yeah, I made an exception to get that book. So yeah, I received them today and I also received the 500 subscriber giveaway. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to obviously put the giveaway up just yet. So I'm waiting for one little thing to add to that giveaway and then I may think about sorting the giveaway soon. I'm just a little bit unsure of how to do it because obviously health and safety reasons. Um, so I've just got to have a little think about it on how to do that. So... I'm not sure. Is other places doing? Is other channels still doing giveaways at all? Because I don't know. I don't know how it works. How people are going sorting it out. Whether they're doing it now, like normal, or whether they're holding off until things calm down a bit. So I'm a bit unsure about that. But yeah, I definitely, definitely plan to do that. So like I said, I've only got one little thing to add to that giveaway, and then. That giveaway will be all ready to be announced for when I announce it. And I've got, because I think it was before Christmas, because I was with a raffle group. I'm still with a raffle group, but I haven't had a go in ages. Um, they do different raffles on there for different items and that. So number three is dark brown. So because I use that other brown just, I'm going to use Prairie Berry. So yes, um, I'm in with a, oh that's more like a purpley brown. Oh well, 
so yeah i'm in with like a raffle group on facebook which is sunny one in the hall and i haven't had a go in ages i won ages ago and i remember i won it i think it was just before christmas because i won a marvel set of characters that i was going to put away for my son but unfortunately um with the covid situation the being out of stock then they ended up cancelling their order so I didn't receive it um, but they got in touch with me the other day very kindly got in touch with me and they explained what had happened and really apologised about it so instead they are sending me the 80 set of Technic glitter gel pens so I'm quite looking forward to getting that because it's been on my wish list for ages so i'm quite looking forward to receiving those i was understandable about it obviously i just said to them i think it's i said it's totally understandable obviously because of the situation what's going on so uh, yeah um how are we all here yeah the little ones oh gosh I've got, it's kind of funny but not funny at the same time. You know how every week I seem to have something to tell you, either children wise or something I've done stupid myself. Well, this is the children. So, my daughter and my son, you'll probably hear them in the background now because they're upstairs. Because they've been off school, they've been getting up to mischief. <laughs> yeah. Um. Basically, the, the last week, my friend sent me a gift through the post as a belated birthday present of some skincare that I absolutely love. And it's called Super Facialist. And in the skincare set, I had some orange clen cleansing wash. And it was really, really nice. I'd only used it twice, so there was a fair bit amount left in it. Um, so yeah, I did the mistake of forgetting to put it back. So what shall we come in now? So I think we're going to do these leaves here. So we're going to go in with number 13, which is green. So yeah, I usually put my stuff back when I've used it, obviously, to make sure the kids can't get at it. So, yeah, I forgot to do it, didn't I? And one night I went upstairs to use the toilet and I noticed the empty bottle on the side. What had happened is my daughter had gone and got the cleanser. Thankfully, she didn't drink any of it, which my lucky stars i'm making sure what i actually do with all the shampoos and everything is i put it in a cupboard in the cubby hole in the bathroom but i've got some child locks on the cubby hole so i just it was just this once i completely forgot to put it back and what she'd done is she'd emptied it out all in the sink and she says she wanted to use it to wash her hands so yeah, a hundred mil full of this luxury facial cleanser. My daughter decided to wash it the whole use the whole bottle and wash her hands with it. So yeah. <laughs> Mommy was not pressed impressed. I wasn't impressed, but then I thought it's my own fault for leaving it out. So um, yeah. <laughs> so that's what's happened this week. It's gone pretty going pretty dark now to be fair outside so yeah that's what's happening here so 14 is dark green so i'm going to use for that um uh, meadow green in the bit markets so i always feel like now that when i do a color and chat with you i've always feel like i've got something kind of to tell you what's happened <laughs> so and as well yeah um, in the UK, grandparents can see their grandchildren now. Obviously, as long as it's one one member who's on their own can come 
obviously come to the house it's like what they call the support bubble at the minute so got to see mother-in-law and they got to see the grand well the little ones got to see the grandmother for the first time in 12 weeks so that felt really good it was nice it was lovely seeing her so yeah they was happy about that and this morning today the little ones decided they wanted to dress up in some dressing up outfits so can we dress up in harry potter and the princess and a gruffalo i said you know what guys who am i to deny what you want to dress up in so yeah <laughs> actually i could have used that 14 for that so i'm gonna come in with yellow again around this bit here so yeah i said by all means enjoy so my daughter dressed up well yesterday she dressed up as sleeping beauty and today my son dressed up as harry potter or the gruffalo and they decided to switch over no they didn't switch over because my husband um my son did not decide to put the sleeping beauty dress on even though we did ask and i said no brandon i said that's for trisha so yeah he decided to change into harry potter or the gruffalo and at one point trish was wearing trisha's my daughter she was wearing the gruffalo outfit so yeah they've had fun doing that today but besides that i thought because <clears throat> you know we're homeschooling at the minute for for the homeschooling we're going to do a bit of textiles so yesterday and he's done it a bit today i've been teaching my son how to stitch how to cross stitch and he's not quite getting the cross stitches yet he's not quite able to do that yet but he is doing like half the stitches so I was really proud of him there and he seems to be really enjoying it, he does. I think it's the whole relaxing aspect of it, of stitching, that he's enjoying. So that's what we've been doing. So to what I'll probably do with him tomorrow is go on a site that we was given by the school called Purple Mash where he can do different activities. They haven't set him activities to do for the past couple of weeks because I think they was anticipating them going back. But because they're not going back just yet, I'm going to check up on Purple Mash tomorrow and have a look if they've set him anything to do. And if they haven't, we're going to practice some maths and some handwriting together. So we've got all the yellow there. So up to 22 minutes so we'll do a, these number 10s and I think we'll leave it for there for now. So number 10 is yellow orange. So yeah so I've, after this video I've got to finish the picture. So I'm, I will finish it off camera but instead of inserting a picture at the end of the video I shall post a picture of the finished picture <laughs> on my instagram and the facebook group that i run on facebook called keep calm and craft i'll leave a link to the facebook group below it was set to public but i've recently set it to private now so I thought with there being a few more members now i thought i'm just going to set it to private obviously to keep your guys privacy so i'll leave a link to the facebook group in the descriptions i'm just going to finish off this number 10 and then i'm going to go and get me some juice and put my feet up because with this muggy weather now and the hot weather if i keep my feet down my foot swells up like a balloon it is awful. I did try to do some diamond painting the other night, but because I'd been sitting upright for a long while with my feet down, my foot was absolutely swollen by the end of it. So I thought, yeah, I need to keep my ankles, keep my feet up. So, okay, guys. So I'm going to leave it here for now. Zoom you back out. 
So I'm going to leave it here for now because obviously with my phone camera it's flashing. I'm going to get going guys because it's flashing now. Um, so it's probably going to cut out in a minute. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up guys. And if you're new to the channel please press that subscribe button. I would love to have you here. And I shall see you again soon. I'm sorry the ending is quick. It's just that the button's flashing. So it looks like it's about to cut out. So I'll see you again soon, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.